Now, I've been going to see this private physio and he's been doing okay, but I've got an appointment with the NHS and I'm going to drop off. What would you say? I, I would reckon it would start with WTF, exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs>
or an inability to use the right words that made somebody see it in the way that it needed to be seen. So if we can do that on the phone, once you get them in here, you, you'll be so much more confident like within a few days and a few weeks. And it's so pivotal now you can see what's going on in that diary. It's like the amount of people now are booking in from Facebook, from newspapers, from leads, from free testers, from whatever. It's phenomenal. It's like 50%, 100% more than the last four weeks. It's crucial. And again, it goes back to like the guys that have been around for like a couple of years now where I've been talking to you all about like moving along an elevator. Yeah. Remember the elevator thing I told you? Start yeah. with the free report, next step was the free discovery, next step was the silver, then it could be gold, then it could be a nine session plan, then it could be momentum. That's what it is. It's just a, just an elevator. Most businesses around the world, the reason they're stuck is because they start at like level five, which is fine. Some people are ready to get on at level step five, but not many. And nobody wants to do the hard yards of building that elevator. It takes them all away. And I promise you, as you see over the next few months, as you get better at it, the people who take the free testers who were nervous for five years will be the people buying you a yeah. Guarantee it, without any hesitation of saying it. They will be the ones who buy your orthotics and your momentum. Why? Because you built the time in at the beginning of the relationship to help them make a good decision. If they're good decisions, they feel confident about the next one. The next one is, do you need nine sessions or do you want an orthotics? And the next one is, do you want your momentum plan or do you want a massage plan? That's it. Everybody else would have been, I'm 15 years qualified, I'm wonderful at this, I'm this, I'm the other, I'm the other, I'm brilliant, I'm the hero, I want to stay the hero, I've like helped so many people like you and like we're so much better than the NHS and blah 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 blah. What I did was swap to the other side and basically shown that I'm now only going to have a conversation with him because I'm fearful for his welfare. Which I am. And we all are at the heart of it. Mm. So we've role played this many times, right? And often I've said to the staff, if you, again, were sat down with you, that was your uncle, right? That was your uncle Paddy, right? Who's gonna drop off. And he says to you, oh, listen, I've been going to see this great private practice guy. And, uh, oh, let's let's say he's in England, right? This is a snout. He's in England and he's like, I've been going, and he just happened to be chatting on Facebook. And I've been going to see this private physio and he's been doing okay, but I've got an appointment with the NHS and I'm gonna drop off. What would you say? So I would reckon it would start with WTF, exclamation mark. <laughs> <laughs> Why, what the fuck are you doing? Why, what on earth are you going there for? Don't you realize the difference? So again, sometimes that energy and, and that belief, that's why I've got across to these. If your mother was gonna drop off our session, go to the NHS, would you let her? They'll go, no. Why the fuck would you let the patient? But we don't fight with them. Mm -hmm. You do it in a way that makes them see that they're about to make a mistake. We don't tell them they're making a mistake. We don't give them any bad like chemicals or drugs or anything going through their body. We don't diss them. We don't rant. We don't send them a big like A4 size email that tells them the benefits of what you are and why you're better, etc. You simply let them see the, the difference for themselves in what you do and what they'll get. Many conversations that, that we've had, we've portrayed the, the actual scenario where we've said, listen, this is what'll happen. You'll sit in a reception, nobody will know your name. You'll walk through an old, stinky, crappy corridor. If you're lucky, there'll be some curtains that go around the bed. You'll be sat down for 39 minutes of a 40 minute session. Nothing will happen. You'll probably be then posted out some exercises three days later. You'll be told to come back four weeks later after that to review those exercises that they've sent you. They'll print the things off again, they'll give you some updates and you'll be told to come back four weeks later. Does that sound like something that you think is gonna take you towards your goal, Mr. Smith? And there'll, there'll be a second silence? No. Would you like to keep that appointment for Wednesday? Yes. We'll see you then. Mm. And the ones who go, regularly come back, back. and go, yeah. you were right. They didn't even know my name. They just give me some exercises. I don't know. It wasn't even worth the parking ticket. Well, we hear you that it takes longer to park the car than the waiting in, in for the, the appointment. Room. That's what yeah, you were. So we, we tell them that story when we get them on the phone and we we'll say, you know, we've had patients do this before and they had you know they wish they hadn't done it. Some of them even said it was like wasn't even worth the parking ticket. Some of them have said we actually start to quote these things because guess what that does? They're now on high alert for all of these things before you've even arrived. Mm -hmm. If I tell you to look for red cars today, you'll find red cars everywhere. If I tell you look for somebody in a wheelchair, you'll all find one today. If I tell you look for bad things when you go to the NHS, you'll find it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
Because the moment they don't recognise your name, it's like, fuck, he was right. Shit. I'm just going to get you some exercise. <laughs> fuck, he was right. <laughs> I'll get you an appointment for food. Oh, shit. Like he said, that was going to happen as well. Because that's what goes on. But we don't put that in an email. You start, for me, if that was you, I would start that with a, a thank you for, it's, you know, I'm, I'm so pleased that the NHS have, have, have like finally you know, got their act together and got in touch with you 12 weeks after they said they would. Um, can you just do me a quick favour and tell me what your expectations are of the service and the care that will give you, full stop. I would, I would really appreciate a reply. It'll come back 24 hours later and you reply with, uh, we need to talk. We, need, we really need to talk because I fear for the, and, and it's the truth. Because their expectations of what they're going to get is not going to be able to match up to what you know of someone who's worked one on one with them already moving forward. Make sense? Yeah, absolutely. So deviate, get off the track, don't go down there. They're like, don't go hunt, fighting with them and dragging them and proving to them, got nothing to prove. The only thing you have to show them is um, the obvious difference between what they'll get there, the disparity, if you like, create a disparity of what they're going to get and tell them. Because they, they just will think, and why wouldn't they? They'll just think the physio is physio is physio. Yeah. 